Good morning, Sadiddy Babes. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a great day, babe. Um, today, basically, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me type of vlog thing throughout the day. Um, I literally just woke up, so y'all like go through the day with me, but I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my makeup, you know, shower and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my morning routine. But that's just a little bit of a rundown of what's happening there. Um, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. So in the last clip, you know, I told y'all what we were doing today. Right now, I cannot get off the couch, y'all. I'm watching Inventing Anna on Netflix. I clicked past it, like, I don't know, maybe like two or three times. But I'm watching it, and I can't get up. But I think I'm going to do my hair first so I can continue watching TV. But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all about this show because it's good. Y'all should watch it. Hey guys, just an update. Um, yeah. I'm using my baby bliss titanium water to put on my hair. I like going crazy right now. Um, I don't want to try to get bored watching me do this to my whole head, but I'm going to do a couple parts and then I'll be back with the finish result. It's a little stringy, but I just wanted it to not look like it was looking. So, yeah. Now, about to do my shower routine, my skincare routine, things like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hey, guys. So, right now, it's about 6 o'clock. Hours behind. I literally, literally recorded at like 3, but I wasn't doing anything, so I didn't want you guys to be bored watching, watching me watch TV, but right now, I'm washing my face. Um, I'll show you the product I used in a second, but I just lather that on. Right now, I'm about to get ready and do the makeup. So, skin prep is everything right now. I'm gonna go ahead and So, after I wash my face, I use the Biore Daily Detox with Tea Breath. After that, I go in with my Avega Composition Oil. about three drops just because 
I don't want my face to be too oily, but it is oil, so it's gonna be a little bit oily, but not that much. And since I've been using that, like my skin, I don't know. I don't really know what it does, but I love the way it makes my skin feel. And it smells like baby powder. Like I'm big on scents. If it don't smell good, I don't want to use it. So yeah, that and then I use my paws. I use this for my dark spots. I'm running out. I need to make some more actually. I'm like hanging on by a thread. Weirdo. Okay, now my face is hydrated. Nice and I'm hydrated. I'm gonna go ahead and start my face. I'm gonna make sure that I tell you guys what I'm using on my face. I'm not just gonna just do it. I don't want it to be like a tutorial, but I do want y'all to know what I'm using. So, I don't know the brushes. A lot of people know their brush numbers. I don't. This one doesn't even have a number on it. But it's came in a BH Cosmetics um set. It was a hair in there. But yeah, it came in a set. I'm gonna use my ankle brush because I use Kwame my NYX. Um this is in the color espresso. <sighs> messing up, messing up. Yeah. Okay, so I have to reposition y'all because what I had going on was not working. But I'm gonna be looking in the mirror back and forth because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I should brush my eyebrows up and out. Go ahead and make my palm in here. This process is a little bit longer because I have a terrible habit of pulling my eyebrows out. Leave a comment down below if you have that weird fetish. I don't know. Me and my mom do the same thing. But yeah. So I have to stop doing that. But my nails are digging it today. We ain't taking that long because it won't be pretty proud. I found the flaw when I looked up that fast. But yeah. Didn't take me long. Yeah, my tail was kind of like skinny. I didn't like that. But yeah. Alright. I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Medium Dark 36. Because this is a really matte concealer. In my opinion, and I like the matte concealer under my brows. I don't like anything too hydrating. So, yeah, I'm gonna use my Morphe 
F one three two brush to do my cool. Yeah, like that. Then I go in with my real techniques. It's like a dense blending brush. I got this in a set as well, and I blend out the edges first, and then I go in and do everything else. Oh, I got a hair in my clothes. But yeah. <laughs> much on my forehead so I don't prime it as much judging my mama and then go in with this one in Tito's because that's where most of my pores are I used to go over my primer with the powder, but it's winter time because I'm AC and it's super cold outside. So I don't want to dry my skin out anymore. I do that in the summer because I get it in the summer. So, yeah, first, because it's faster. And I'm kind of on a time crunch, but I procrastinated to the last minute, so yeah. It's cool. Let my beauty blender, because I'm going to go over it with the beauty blender. Your girl is like falling in love. And you can just shoot out of here. I was taking it. <laughs> Thank you. 
brush to like stipple it easier. Some people use a stippling brush, but I find that a little bit too hard. I like to have a little movement. So it could look almost airbrushed. But of course, the beauty blender never fails me, so I always gotta go back on it. Even if I'm like, I only want it, I'm still gonna go back on it. too much or just enough that doesn't help because I don't know <laughs> but yeah like I don't know I feel like for some reason if I was using a sponge I was still trying to make it a portion of my face and I don't like that the sponge takes away so much of your product Cause now I'm like wasting product and I'm like, like I just put too much on my hand forgetting that I was thinking about using a brush is fine but that would be my anyways but I am gonna go in with a second layer just Because I want to be big, but like, I would say not too big, but I want to be big, so yeah. So yeah. Like it's like OCD for me. I'll just wipe the brush off so there's no excess stuff on me. And yeah, just gonna get up in the brow. And this foundation is pretty big, but. This is the only foundation that has like my almost exact color in the bottom. Like I'm trying to like transfer over to NARS, but every time I go and look at the colors, I'm stuck between like my all. But then like I look at it and I'm like, this is not it. Like it has to be something else. Like I feel like you need a color in between that and. I don't know what the next darkest one is, but they need a color in between those two. I feel like I would have to buy both. <laughs> but yeah, normally I mix. This is the only foundation that I use that I don't have to mix. It's either too red or too yellow. And it's like, I am kind of red, but then it's like too red. So yeah. That's my normal life. That's like my biggest pet peeve with the makeup industry right now. They don't have my color. Like, what about my color? But, um, I might not handle a little bit because it's kind of dirty. But I'm going to go in with concealer, okay? I'm going to go in with like three concealers, but today I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I'm going to time crunch. But I am going to go in with like two. Not three now, but two. That's good for me. But I'm going with my Too Faced in the color. Warm Sand. This is the Hydrating Concealer. Multi sculpting, but it's like hydrating. But yeah. Mm. I know everybody's been saying 
the little lift. I will still have the light cover in here, but I'm not doing a lot in my way. Sorry, I don't understand. I guess the girls that get it get it, but I ain't girls and I don't get it. Okay, I need my extra coverage. Although I do like the, you know, the boop boop boop. But other than that, nah. Sponge, but I'm not. It's just one word. I'm gonna go and run my lip techniques. It's like a fluffy blending brush. Um, like honestly, this brush has changed my makeup game. Definitely changed my makeup game. Like, I used to see people use it on for reels instagram youtube but i was just like mm, brush for concealer but then i used it <laughs> and it's like it just blended out so nice i don't know can't explain it it's just one of those things you gotta try for yourself everybody does it like using brushes for concealer and obviously i never thought i would be that girl but i am and she's that girl so yeah of course i go over everything with my b blender because i'm sure that's like my safe haven like i don't care how much i love brushes i'm gonna forever and always go back over it with my b blender like i just feel like the b blender Set it all in. You do what you're supposed to do. Take my mind, safety tip is step out. Get some pen now. Shut your edge out. Since your eyes spoke, you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need right now. Got me one though. You so you so you. Baby, baby, baby. I remember my empty mind. Shit. This dries fairly fast, in my opinion. Like, that's not a concealer that I'll let it sit for too long, or if at all, honestly. Because once it's there, oh baby, it's there. And she's gonna get it, but she's not gonna get it when she's supposed to. So, I wouldn't let that. 
Hey, how dare you? I don't want to go in with the brush I used up under my, to clean up my brows for this part because I feel like it just keeps it where I want it. It doesn't move it. Like I don't want it bright all the way up. I don't want it to gradually, you know, transition. So yeah, then I go back. Then I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild foundation stick in the color chestnut. Yeah, the color chestnut. I'm gonna use like this is a real Japanese brush. It's like a dense circular brush. I'm gonna use that to place it and blend it out. This is like eyeshadow brush, but I'm using it to create under my nose because I feel like it just, it does, okay. That's what it is. And then I just, just I use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. JHO7 is the Jacqueline Collection.
This is the movie Kiss, like face powder palette thing. I literally always use it for these three. And then I use my Morphe and 530 for feet. I don't know what it's supposed to be for, but I use it for this. <laughs> and I used to deepen the bomb. It's the same part of your face. I feel like it really don't matter what you say, but people are gonna not agree with that. It's cool. I say that because you have it. Coldest love the country. I'm not really bronzing. I'm not really contouring either. Like I'm not. I feel like I don't know the difference. You know, that's a bad thing. What's this Valentine's Day? I don't want to scare Bay away. Don't want too much. He don't mind me wearing a makeup, which I love about him, but he don't like too much either, so it's not what I'm looking to. Music is going on here. No. 
really think and why did I do a cut piece, but I don't know. It was meant to be different. I didn't say anything really to him. I was on this one and it was like the light for my actual um lid. And I can't do that. She's giving pink. Okay, I can work with that. Um, boom. Then, kind of took the cut crease on my left eye. That's gonna be tough. But we gonna see, okay? My face is basically done, so. I know that I'm gonna eyeshadow, color smear, before I try to put on life for me to be successful here. Lord. This one's a little high, but let's uh blend with the other color my transition shades. What I say No, I 
have sugar in it so I'm probably gonna use this peachy although it's supposed to be but I just like it upper lip and I used to do under my brow but I don't like that anymore you know I'm back in with my face part of course because I'm not really big fan of her like that I just like a bare face. I think I did my face in like thirty minutes. That's not bad for me, <sighs> y'all. I like to clean up my area because once I'm done, I'm freaking done. look I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera because I don't want my eyes to start watering and I'm gonna do lip liner and lip gloss too then I'm gonna come back when I'm ready to take my hair down and I'm dressed so y'all I was being a bad blogger okay I was supposed to vlog but right now I'm in a room to my play friend I didn't show y'all my hair but I just took the ends and it was down, it was whatever, because it was stringy anyways, but I just want to show y'all my finished look. This is like a few hours, a little sweaty tears, because me and my boyfriend are bipolar, but yeah. I just want to show y'all, I'm going to down right now, so see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Y'all, I'll quickly take my makeup off, but... So much work. So much work. So much. And I love it. Like, oh my God.
Like, I can't believe I'm so cute. But yeah. What's up, Sagitty Babes? It's your girl, Tay. Um, I've been doing a blog this week. However, yesterday I didn't really do anything, so I didn't have anything to film for you guys. But today, I didn't go shopping today, but today I do want to show you guys um, a lot of the stuff that I got. My mom got it for me for Target for the baby. If you didn't know, I am pregnant. And yeah, she got a lot of stuff for the baby, so I want to show you guys that. And I just wanted to get some content filmed today, like anything at this point. It was just, it was crunch time. But yeah, yesterday I didn't really do anything. And yeah, so we got a lot of stuff from Target that I want to show you guys. I got a, this is a diaper bag, like a book bag. It's so freaking cute. Like, honestly, it's so freaking cute. Um, It says it has a bunch of like pockets and zippers and stuff i'm pretty sure she just bought it because it has floral print on it and if you know you know she's obsessed but yeah i love love this super cute and it's like it's a diaper bag but you can still be stylish like yes i know what she was giving she gave okay she gave then we have a oh, little outfit it's so cute she could be so cute but yes she still have all the floral print stuff she's a spring baby so it's gonna be a lot where this came from and we got some jammies there's the second one and then the third one so there's three in this pack super cute um i guess since i'm showing you guys um i did go to the doctor today i am now 26 weeks um everything was fine with the baby we just listened to her heartbeat we got some leggings super cute but yeah we just listened to her heartbeat um i should be getting an ultrasound my next appointment at 28 weeks um we got some socks yeah my next appointment i should be getting the ultrasound like when i first found out that i was pregnant they were doing ultrasounds every four weeks all the way up until i want to say maybe 16 weeks 18 weeks somewhere around there and then i didn't get any more but they should be starting back. Um, but today at my doctor's appointment, we listened to the baby and I had to take a glucose test. All the mamas out there that may be watching me, you guys know what the glucose test is. It's basically like they give you this sugary drink. Mine was orange flavor. I don't really like orange juice, so it was gross to me, but I mean, it wasn't, like, terrible. Like, it wasn't unbearably nasty, but it's, like, thick water, but with sugar in it. But then, like, they drizzle some flavor on the top. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just not, you know, everything that they do while you're pregnant is just not, you know, it's just not. But, yeah. Other than that, and then we got some cute rib onesies. I like them because, like, you know, they like little grown woman. Like, she's going to be giving, okay? She's going to be giving business women, okay? At two. Whole lawyer out here. But, yeah, this is it for the baby clothes. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. Yeah, this is it. Um, Honestly... I don't know like i was gonna vlog all week but i don't want you guys to be bored like i'm still getting used to being in front of the camera so if i don't do anything i just feel like i don't want to bore you guys like 
I watch vlogs so I know when I get bored. But if you guys have any ideas on like videos I should do, let me know. Like, just let me know. Drop them in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. Whatever floats your boat, honey. But I do need those ideas because I want to start pushing out content. Like, you know, eventually I'm going to get a schedule. I'm going to film on certain days, post on certain days. Like, I'm still getting used to the editing process. Like, it took me a day. A day. A day. But that's like off and on to edit the first part of this vlog. So, like, I figure when I do, like, lifestyle type of vlogs, I just edit throughout the week because I'm doing it for a few days. Y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> the door just cracked. And it wasn't me. It's all the way downstairs. You know what? We not. The devil is a lie, okay? We not about to do this. But anyways... I don't even know where I was at. I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was talking about. That just really took me. That took me and sent me to Pluto somewhere. But, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, What else could I update you guys on? I mean, I've really just been in house board. Board in house. In house board. Watching Netflix. Like, today. I just finished like the first five episodes of Love is Blind season two. Um, I particularly don't like how they did this season. Like the last season, I could just binge. And this season, I have to wait. Like, granted, it comes out tomorrow. Today is the 17th. So tomorrow's the 18th, February 18th. But I don't like that. Like, I don't like having to wait. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Your girl is impatient, okay? I just want to watch. Because I don't have anything else to do, so. Yeah. But I've been getting, like, the baby shower and maternity pictures and, you know, trying to get all that stuff figured out. I don't really know what I'm going to wear to the baby shower yet. I'm going to get a dress made, but, like, I don't know what it's going to look like. Your girl is just. At this point, I'm just ready to, you know, boop, pop goes the weasel. But, yeah, I have no idea what I'm with that. And I don't have any idea what I'm going to wear for maternity pictures either. Like, and it's slowly approaching because I'm knocking on seven months door and my baby shower is April 10th. So, I'm going to take you guys through that. You know, I'm going to give you the whole rundown. I'm going to take you through my consultation to get my dress made, all of that good stuff. But this is just the principle. Like, I have no idea what I'm about to do. Nothing is planned. Like, the baby shower is planned as far as, like, theme and where it's going to be at and stuff like that. But I don't care about that stuff. Like, honestly, like, I could have did without the baby shower. Like, the baby shower is for other people. I'm just going to be there. I'm like it's like a special guest event like I'm just here for the food we not really you know you know like I you know this not my scene I don't really you know that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day but yeah I just want to update you guys film some content for the day um for the rest of the day I don't know it's like six or seven maybe Maybe six, because it's still kind of light outside. But I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day. I'm literally probably just going to chill, edit a little bit, eat, because your girl likes to eat, okay? And think of something to do tomorrow so I can vlog for you guys. Um, Honestly, I was supposed to work tomorrow. Because, like, I do, like, an on-call trim type of thing. I trim cannabis on-call. So, we were supposed to have a trim tomorrow. If we don't, you know, that will differentiate what I'm doing tomorrow with the video. But, 
if I do, I can let y'all see what I do in a day when I go to work. It's pretty, you know, if you into weed, it's interesting. But, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because she's kicking me. This is not going to be a thing right now, but yeah. So, love you lots. Peace. Peace. And I hope you guys have a great day.